Hello, this is Eric at the Prince George Ford Pre-Owned Supercenter, and we're taking a look at the 2014 Ford Explorer in an XLT trim and powered by a 3.5 liter V6 engine, providing you with plenty of power and with four-wheel drive capabilities, so you're going to be able to get around pretty well in the changing weather conditions, but let's take a look inside. So first looking in the back where you have a power lift gate and looking at your third row seating, which can be folded flat as you can see, or up to provide you with two more seats for a total seating of seven and they get their own cup holders and there's a 12 volt power power outlet right there but then it does close again with another simple press of a button so now looking at the second row where you have three more seats with a nice full leather interior and down here they have their own uh, climate controls as well as a 12 volt power outlet and two cup holders that fold out uh, fitted rubber floor mats throughout the vehicle as well and now looking in the front where you have power windows, power mirrors, and power locks, as well as a fully power adjustable driver's seat. So now sitting in the vehicle with it running, you can see that it's sitting at 94,362 kilometers. But moving down to the steering wheel, on the right hand side you have your hands-free phone and radio controls, and then you also have your controls for your right screen where you can uh, go through your entertainment, so radio, navigation, and phone controls. And on the left hand side you have your cruise control buttons as well as your controls for your left screen here where you can go through things such as your uh, distance to empty, your RPMs, your RPMs with your transmission temperature, your four wheel drive status, and then you can also go through your trip one and two stats, fuel economy, driver assist, and settings for other features around your vehicle. But then moving on to your center, your infotainment screen, which is, I believe, radio, Sirius, CD, USB, Bluetooth, SD, and auxiliary, I believe so. And then, uh, so you do have quite a few options, but then in the bottom right you have your uh, digital climate controls with dual climate and heated front seats with three levels each so you can stay comfortable. And in the top right you have your navigation screen, so you're hopefully not going to get lost in your travels. And in the top left, you have your Bluetooth phone controls. Um, but then shifting into reverse, you do also have a backup camera with, I believe, rear sensors that will alert you if you're about to hit anything, so hopefully you can avoid that. Can also zoom in on where your trailer hitch would be if you want to have, have an easier time hooking up a small trailer or something. But moving down, you have your physical media and climate controls. And then down here, you have this compartment, which reveals... Uh, all of your stuff, so a 12 volt, two USBs, your auxiliary and SD, so you can uh, plug in your audio or just plug in something to power or charge that way. Then you have your main shifter here with select shift on the side, so you can manually shift through your gears. You have two cup holders and your, uh, what I would, what is it called? Terrain management, I believe. Uh, so you can kind of shift which environment you're driving in and the vehicle will adjust to drive a bit better in those conditions. And then you have your hill uh, descent assist here in the center as well. But then you have your center compartment slash armrest here, which has another 12 volt inside as well as a good amount of space for your stuff. And then finally looking up, you do also have a uh, twin panel moonroof. So there's the first part and then there's the second part so you can let in some nice sunshine. But that should cover our look at the interior. So now if you're interested, feel free to give us a call at 250-563-8111 or just come on down to the dealership and have a look for yourself and have a nice day.